You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. Well, you know I have a crush on the guy on Game of Thrones. He's pretty hot. He is hot. I'd bang the shit out of him. I'd, I'd bang his little legs off. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Stacy. <laughs> hey. That, that was me doing you. That was me doing you. Here's me doing you. So what the fuck? Like, every girl needs to fucking blow me. Like, fuck that. Like, no. fuck that shit. Like, really, fuck that shit. Don't go to the gym on a fucking Monday. Don't look in the fucking mirror. And fuck you. What was your longest My balls itch. <laughs> I don't want to say this yeah, on no, the air. Well, just because you're gonna you're gonna fucking clip it all the time. It was you. You were my longest one. <laughs> oh, fuck you. That was a, that was a low blow. That was funny as shit. I'm her monkey. All right, so we're fucking back, and you should be grateful because every week it's pretty a, soon we'll all be gone. <laughs> every Bow week down. it's a struggle. It's a fucking struggle to be here. Surround ourselves with these people. Henry the Ninth is not here. He left because you must um, take huge dumps. He had to go. He left a huge dump, by the way. <laughs> he had to go back to California. Um, Do some crack. He might come back. I don't. You know. What? I don't know. But I have to tell you, it gave me a lot of closure having him here. It made me I feel um, like we, you know, we went out, we talked. You could do better. Thank you, Just Molly. Saying. I, yeah, I think I could. I mean, he did have. A Sometimes she hasn't. I'm on. A, I'm on like a big losing streak. Yeah. John Henry. Hey! 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 I was a fucking hey. man. That was a win. <laughs> that was a win-win. <laughs> the guy I'm dating now, I don't, I don't even fucking know what to do. Well, he's Jewish. Correct. Well, he is Jewish, so that's a positive. But oh, I know this guy. No, I haven't introduced you to him yet. Mm-hmm. He is Jewish, um, but he has this, he eats all the time. Well, <laughs> I thought you liked that. <laughs> it dr- not my pussy. Like he does eat my pussy all the time. Stop too. it! But he lo- like all he wants to do is eat food. And no, but I thought you liked larger. No, I do. Like I don't care about fat. But he just it's like all he ever wants to do is go to like eat and then have sex and then watch a movie hey, and then I don't see the problem. Yeah. After a while, you want to do other things. You just do. I mean, you can still like, have what, sex and play eat. Risk? Well, I prefer Battleship, but I, no, I mean like go do stuff, like just day trip or even just go to the fucking mall. I, I don't know. Leave the My house. My pussy hurts. My pussy hurts. <laughs> Is he banging you too much? Your pussy hurts? Oh, stop. Oh, no. If you talk into this episode. There's I like no such it. thing as banging me too much. Ooh. Amen. So how do you know when you've met the one? What? Where'd I'm, that I'm looking at this. T- I'm looking at this table, oh, and I don't think any of you can answer that question. Shit just got real. <laughs> you know I can answer. <laughs> <laughs> like, can any of us answer that? Nope. I thought I had the answer, and then I got kicked in the nuts. Yeah, I Didn't don't. We, no, uh, can we? Can every time you think you got it. <laughs> I bet Angry Birds got the answer. No, on. I don't think she. I don't think anyone has the answer. Lesbian bed death. <laughs> it's when you settle. That's the thing, Molly. Like I. So every time, settle. yeah, every time I think about when did I find the one, I've usually settled. But then I think, is settling the wrong word? I mean, is there a perfect person? Probably not. Mm-mm. What we call settling, maybe that's just us compromising and taking the good with the bad. And is that a se- is that settling? Settling? Yeah. At the beginning, it seems like you're taking the good with the bad. But then you lose interest and you're like, fuck, I settled. See, that's my, f- that is my biggest fear. I know I said on Twitter my biggest fear is back fat, but I feel like my biggest fear is, I fucked the Siamese twin once. What? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think my biggest fear is settling. I think that's everyone's biggest fear. But everyone fucking does it. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> right? I don't believe settled. that there is the one. I don't either. I don't think there's a Which, the one. You don't want me to go into another non-monogamy rant. No, I don't think there's Maybe the if you're dating multiple people, one of those people, like, they can make up for each other. I, I, I feel like there is there's no such thing as soulmates. I think you meet people that enhance your life, and you can either choose to be with them forever or not. But to convince yourself that you have a soulmate, like I know people who are like, no, my husband's my soulmate. But there are also people that are extremely I, sheltered. I also I think you can have, there's more than one person that you might consider. Like you'll meet people throughout your life that you might consider your soulmate or whatever. Yeah. There might be more than one out there and it's just a matter of finding one that you can live with mm-hmm. and that you want to fucking put your genetics in them. Uh, <laughs> romance. Uh, wow, that's so fucking hot. Put your genetics in them. <laughs> the Jew, the Italian, and the blonde. <laughs> <laughs> and the Italian, he means like plural Italians. Yeah. UNTP. A bunch of Italians. Um, do you even know my nationality? I don't fucking care. You don't, <laughs> yeah, fuck it, right? Blonde. You have a vagina, that's all. That's. What an asshole. What an asshole. Seriously. Dick. It slants the same way as everyone else's, doesn't it? Uh, How do you know? Because I've been in there. I had vaginal reconstruction. No, too. you did not. <laughs> you did <laughs> dick. Um, you suck. <laughs> Elizabeth Gilbert, who wrote Eat, Pray, Love, um. she... She said that she believes soulmates are people that come into your life for a brief period of time. And leave footprints in the sand. And teach you (laughs) of your life. (laughs) Wow. You're in a bad mood. I guess guess Molly hasn't banged you recently. I think I touched a nerve. I think you did. (laughs) Severed it. What are you talking about? Wow. Because something's going on. You're angry. You're fucking angry. Yeah, well, he fucked me on the first date because I'm not worth anything. Yeah, right. So she should. You should be angry. She's over I'm you. I'm over it. Yeah, well, that, that was obvious. <laughs> you're, when you're Mr. Dwelled well. That was you're obvious dwelling. when it was eight in the morning and she was like, "Hit the bricks, Dick." Well, like why, I said, you're still here. <laughs> yeah, why waste a piece of toast for an asshole? Mm. Um, <laughs> That's my theory. That should, be on, that should be on a shirt. <laughs> yeah. So kick it, Kanye. Yeah. So whatever, Elizabeth Gilbert. You. Soulmates come into your life, teach you a lesson, and move on. They're not meant to be permanent. And I kind of like that quote. I think it's cool. John, look at you. You're gripping the microphone. He's about to. Look at him. knuckles are white. I don't know if he can can process this. He can't because he's not open-minded. That's not. That's oh, totally not. Oh, I think true. we need some Rocky music. Oh man, we're gonna all. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those episodes where I fucking rant, isn't it? Jo- TP just gave like, me the wide eyes. You, you guys are trying to push my <laughs> buttons right now. <laughs> so, what do you think? Um, why? Did, why does it have to be in and out? What? Like you're saying, come in and then not permanent. Why does it have to not be permanent? Because. All right. If you're going to be purely scientific, like, uh, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me. Molly's be, just like, yeah, she's peeling the, the the label off of her beer. Let me. She's be, like, this is getting really. Be this is getting advocate. intense. I'm going to be devil's advocate right now. How long ago did we meet, you and I? I mean, this is going back to college, correct? Right. Okay. And then, so we, it was. It was about twenty years ago. Twenty. I'm not that old. Don't. Give me that shit. No, it was like 25. It was a while ago. Right. We'll 25. No, it, it was, was like a fucking while right. ago. Hold so, on. Okay. And then we fell out of touch because, right. you know, we broke up and, you know, it was all this shit. The waitress. But uh, but eventually we got back in contact, right? Mm-hmm. And we've been friends for a long time since, even though there was some bad shit that went on. Mm-hmm. I would say, you know, and I'm being serious right now. I would say that we're close, Right. We're very close. So, yeah. does that mean you're going to leave me now? You're going to leave me with your footprints in my sand? <laughs> <laughs> or are those footprints nothing but holes? Well, um, empty holes that can never be filled again. I am friends with. We should write poetry. Every you know. single one of my exes, except for two, and <laughs> and yeah, but how many of them come over here and hang out? Well, like how many? Go like well, go to the beach with you. And, you yeah, know, like, you're you're a more con- like more a part of my life than the others. But I mean, I talk. In fact, I just got a text from an ex, 
and they're all still in my life and they're all soulmates in one yeah in one way or the other but what she's saying is you don't have to like settle down and commit your life to them completely i don't i you know i don't spend every every hour with you no i know that you know so it's like yeah you're a soulmate but you should get married or anything you're a soulmate but you're not like my partner in life you know like a lot of people will say well you know once you meet your soulmate you have to settle down and be with them forever I don't. But that's why I'm saying that there may be more than one. But then you you find one that you can settle down with, and that you want to have children with, and you want right. To as long as you can believe that it's not settling, and that's the problem I have because every fucking time I meet someone, and I think, oh, I could settle down with them. I get to the point where I'm like, oh, it feels like settling, mm-hmm. and then it bums me the fuck out, and I want to die. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the, there's you know. a point in every relationship I've had that where you just start getting depressed, and you're like, fuck, this is it. Now, this is the last person. Right. And is it a function of the fact that the honeymoon phase wore off? Because I always wonder, like, maybe it's because I just don't have that spark anymore. Like, that honeymoon feeling. Like, mm, I can't wait for him to text me. And, you know, that, that you, you feel all, like, butterflies in your tummy. But then... No. I don't think so. But then it gets to the point for me where I'm like, I'd rather be alone tonight than be with him. Right. But that could be with anybody, though. But that's what I'm saying. But it, shouldn't it not be that yeah. way? Yeah. No. With your soulmate? You, everybody needs alone time. Some people don't. Some people need a sidekick all the fucking time. Oh, maybe I'm just not meant to have a soulmate. Yeah. See, these are the questions that keep me up it's at because night. Because you're too goddamn self-centered. I'm not self-centered. But these are the questions that keep me up at night. This is what I wonder. Am I just not a someone who's supposed to be with one person? I don't think any of us are. I hope your uh, man isn't listening to this right now. He doesn't listen. Your current man. He would never listen. <laughs> He'd but be crying. No, he curling doesn't. Curling in a corner. He knows better than to listen. But I know people, like, I work with someone who is married and has dated her husband since she was 15. Mm. She's 30. She's never been with anyone else. And you don't think she wants to? No. she. Well, no. Because I feel like she's convinced herself that he, this is my soulmate. This is my dream man. This is all I need. And it's almost like this like delusional state she lives in. It depends on your values, too, because she probably prides herself on that. Yeah, she does. And she only spends time with him. Like, oh, I will say, yeah. how was your weekend? And she'll say, oh, my husband and I went for a bike ride. Right. Like, shit like that that makes me... Like, I think going for a bike ride with my husband on a Sunday would make me want to die. Yeah. Like, I don't know that... That's just not me. But you Cock and I... Heck. <laughs> you and I pride ourselves on being independent, so right. it's different. Right. But she apparently calls herself a feminist, mm. says that she's independent. And some, some people meet a, a, hit a phase where they become less independent, maybe. They, they, they want that. That's what they want. They want the, the white picket fence and the, the fucking bike ride and the little picnics and all that kind of bullshit. Yeah, but she got married very young. I mean, she's been dating but since she was 15. Yeah, you guys are proving me wrong because I've been thinking about this and I was thinking, am I just not old enough yeah. to like, have I not hit the point where I want right. to settle down? Maybe you just get tired well, of dating. You are only 16, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Well, I don't know. I mean, I am in my late 30s and I'm still like, eh. Damn, really? <laughs> don't be an asshole. For reals. <laughs> We've already established they have gray pubes. <laughs> Granny. Granny. Right, but, so that throws my idea out the window because you haven't. But I also have point. a career. She's also defective. No, I. Shut up. I have a I'm cur- kidding, I love you, baby. I, love you, baby. I, think I she's have a career. <laughs> I have a career and I can I can support myself. Like, I don't need anyone to help me. I have an but itchy boob. I'm sorry. Me either. Some women, <laughs> right. And some women maybe feel like. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, just for those she's listening, actually she's, itching her tits. she's literally playing with her tits right now. It gets me turned on. Hence the sound clip. Um, but some women feel like they need to be supported. And maybe that's a motivator to settle. Well, I don't understand those women. No. There are a lot of a lot of chicks out there that that's yeah what they're maybe they're, they're a majority maybe we're just fucking freaks, Stacey. Oh. They're looking for some dude with a big bank account to take care of, mm. take care of business. I mean that's nice. I've definitely I know, I've not had one of those a dudes. pseudo sugar daddy type of situation, and it was really nice. But 
Me too. In I the end, one. you're like, I'd rather be so paying for my own dinner. Henry the Ninth used to just be like, if you need anything, you know where the money is. And I would pull his underwear drawer out, and there would be <laughs> stacks of money. From drug deals. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but I didn't know at the time. And he, cause he used to be like, I'm in a cash business. And I would take the money. <laughs> And I'd go shopping and I would do stuff and it was wonderful but and I didn't pay rent. I didn't do anything. I did nothing. You know, the DEA is listening to this right now. Yeah. So, I don't know. They're going to repossess the apartment. <laughs> but that didn't motivate me to stay with them. Like, right. my, I'm That's not about not money. I don't, I, I, God, I look at these women who are with guys. I know this one woman and she does not fuck her husband. She's like, mm. yeah, we haven't had sex in five years. What? And why when is he I, still paying for her shit? Right. I'm like, well, why are you with him? Well, God. Because he's loaded and he's the father of my children. And to me, I would hate myself Mm -mm. if that was my life. Right. Yeah. That won't last forever, though. She said, she goes, I don't care what he does on his free time. And he basically bangs chicks uh, when he's out on business. She'll start doing Yeah, sometimes it's just an understood agreement. Yeah. Whatever. It's a companionship. Right. Jeff, what do you think about soulmates? Ah! Thank you. He he, he needs to have a soul to have a soulmate. (laughs) That was predictable. You don't, uh, you don't think that that's no, really. That's all you're getting out of me. No. Have you ever settled? I think I do every time I'm with a jack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! Listen to that, ladies. <laughs> oh snap! Oh, that's insulting. You all just got pwned. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we're all real sad right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a depressing <laughs> show. <laughs> we're all alone in the world. So I think we should go to. I think. John has two two segments today. No, I'm only going to do one. No, I think you should do both. Well, which one should I do right now? I don't know. It's up to you. You're part of the cast. You need to fucking take ownership and do your thing. Jesus do it. Christ. Do it. Do you want to do John Well, this is... Well, now I'm all depressed. <laughs> well, now we got to get you riled my, up. My mm. sales are deflated. <laughs> How's your Moderma cock? <laughs> huh? How's your j- violent uh, jerk-off uh, sessions f- with your... Gamefly.com games. All right. You should get them through the Riotcast.com. Why are you sucking bed page? Gamefly.com. Get a free trial for how many months? Uh, I don't know. 15 days. <laughs> 15 day free trial. <laughs> I just know it's awesome. 15 day free trial. Gamefly.com slash suck. Gamefly.com slash suck. You're going to bring out the John Mall again. <laughs> Why would you not put a real picture of yourself? I don't want to date your fucking dog. Why don't you put your fucking on the My rant is, and this this actually came within the last couple of days, the people that live on my block, like my fucking neighbors, <laughs> they, I, I, all right, let me start with this asshole who lives across the street from me. He still has his Christmas. You live across the street from the ocean. I live down the street, <laughs> down the block from the ocean. <laughs> Whatever. I have this cockbag across the street who keeps his Christmas lights up. All fucking year long. I hate and that. Drives that. Me fucking... <sighs> Does he turn them on? 
No, he doesn't turn them on, at least. Okay. But he also, like, when Christmas time does actually come about, he has these outside speakers that he plays Christmas music yes. on. Yes, my parents have that a neighbor, and when I stay at their house, I can't fucking sleep because I all I hear is Christmas Christ- music. I don't want to hear you fucking Christmas. <laughs> like, I, I love Christmas. Don't get me fucking wrong. Like, I, that's my shit right there. Christmas music. I am a fucking pansy when it comes to that. I don't want to hear your goddamn Christmas music all night long. No. Who, who the fuck wants to? Fucking rednecks. And why would you play Christmas music outside? If you're so into right. the fucking Christmas music, play yeah. exactly. it Why do you inside? have to impose it on yeah, everyone else? Yeah, don't impose it. You don't know the religious There may be some of- Jews around that don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that fucking That's Rudolph right. the red fucking nose. <laughs> Thank you. I would much rather hear this. <laughs> All right, my landlord pisses me off because she doesn't check her fucking mail for like a week at a time. You're a grown ass adult. Check your fucking mail. Empty your fucking mailbox. Take in your mail. That was just a little thing. I do that sometimes when I'm in denial that I have bills to pay. Maybe all her bills are online. People next. True. Yeah, my bills are online too. I still take in my fucking mail. And I don't get very much mail. Mm. The Ewok dogs that live next door, that all they do is look like little fucking puffballs and bark. You hate bark, animals. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> all they do is fucking bark all day long. How do you live in a house? Where you live with these fucking things that just bark all day long. I would punt the fucking thing. I would put it on a show where they teach you how to train a goddamn dog so it doesn't bark all fucking day. How do you have children in a house with dogs that bark all fucking day? John's arm is literally And they're not throbbing. even dogs, He's dude. He's throbbing. He's throbbing arm. Like I see it. It's they're, not even, <laughs> they're not even fucking dogs. They're little fucking gerbils. <laughs> Why do you want, if you want to get a dog, get a fucking German Shepherd. Then when it barks, it means something. There's someone trying to rob your fucking house. This is because I'm going out to my car, these fucking dogs are barking. And I live on a block with stray cats. Take it, John. I'm okay. Fucking it. stray cats. I do not live in a third world country. Why are there stray cats on the streets? Yeah, okay. Why do these fucking people feed these fucking cats? A third world countries have oh, stray cute. goats. Okay, would you rather fucking stray goats? They eat the cats. Yeah. That's, okay, I'll take that. (laughs) Also, kitties are cute. I I I like kitties. I try to run these fucking things. I'm a pussy lover. I try to run them over every day. Are you fucking kidding me? I try so hard. (laughs) Are you kidding me? It's like they see me coming and they sit out in the street (sighs) just long enough. You're, and they you're get close just, and then they jet out. Don't there. take it out on these innocent little things. Innocent my ass. They are innocent. What have they ever done to you? They're what have in, they ever done to they're you? They're in my fucking way and they're making my block look like I live in fucking Alabama somewhere. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the cowboy hat that you wear that makes you look like you live in Alabama. People on my block get those landscaping trucks that come down. Now, yes, you, and so does everybody. Hold on, hold on. But you've seen my block. <laughs> I live near the water. The block is extremely narrow, Mm -hmm. and no one has grass. They don't have lawns. You don't need a fucking landscaping truck. There's no grass. (laughs) Then what are they landscaping? Maybe the landscapers live there. They're just blocking the road. Bullshit. There's landscaping happening. There's, uh... What? What are you, landscaping concrete? And... In addition to the cats in the street? That's what I wake up to all the fucking time when I'm out on the country with my parents. There's no fucking... Gra- all right. In addition to the cats in the street, there's... Okay. Now, I grew up in Queens. We would play out in the street all the time. And when a car would come down the street, you get out of the fucking street so that you don't get hit by a car. I have people live on my block that the, the adults... We'll herd the kids out of the street, but they'll look at me with contempt. Like, how dare you drive on this road where my kids are playing in the street? It's a fucking street. It was built for me to drive on. There's a goddamn sidewalk for your kids to play on. It's like that. Remember the movie um, oh, Wayne's World where they have the uh, game on. Game yeah. on. You move your shit out of the way. <laughs> More kids need to get hit by cars so that they respect the car and they get the fuck out of the way. Mm-hmm. It's like Darwinism. If you're dumb enough to stand in the street, you, you, your genes don't deserve to get passed on to the next generation. Well, Jeff is silently agreeing yes. with you. Yes. 
<laughs> I don't know. And, and for the parents, don't fucking look at me like I shouldn't be driving on the street. The street the was built for me. Exactly. The strongest survive. So you want to survive? <laughs> you want to stab people and run children over? Yes. And kill cats. Mm. Uh, <laughs> survival of the fittest. And then there's just some cockbag that parks behind me, so I have trouble pulling out. But <laughs> 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 aside from that, way to finish a rant off, Sean. <laughs> No, the kids really pissed me off. Like well, the kids, yeah, the out of, of all of those, things. not the landscapers. What are you, a, a villain in a Scooby Doo cartoon? <laughs> <Those fucking kids. laughs> fucking kids, you kids, get out of the fucking street, you little bastard! Could have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you, John. It's always a pleasure to hear you. Yeah, my heart pressure just. Amazon.com, one of the greatest websites to out buy. there. You can buy anything. You anything. can buy food, exercise equipment, vibrators, books, CDs, toys, clothes, and all you have to do... And the shit comes prematurely. It does. It always delivers faster than they estimate. And all you have to do is go to Riotcast.com, go to the Why You Suck in Bed page, hit the Amazon... Link. <laughs> link thank you <laughs> amazon.com love them so so much just ordered a whole bunch of stuff on there and i'm excited to receive it whenever i get a little box that says amazon on the side i get excited you don't have no little box, little box girl little i get all tingly down there mm. all right so i have one email to read so why don't we read that and let's give us some uh listener email only one it's time to answer your emails It's time to answer your emails. And here we go. go. Nice! That was pretty synced up. All right. I have this amazing email from Alicia. And the, t- <laughs> the subject is mishap at work. And I love that she wrote this. Hi, guys. I'm listening to the podcast Wednesday morning at work. Oh, boy. I work in a very I can already tell where this is going. <laughs> I work in a very conservative large office in cubicles right next to each other. I'm surrounded by older married women that are very snooty and better than everyone else. That's in quotes. They already look down on me because I'm single, young, twenty five years old at the office. Holler. It's a quote quiet zone in my department, so it's extremely quiet and all of a sudden I just finished the episode Yogi Don't <laughs> Take it up the ass. <laughs> so I think. I unplug my headphones and my smartphone thought it would be a good idea to restart the episode. All I hear Uh-oh. is, you're listening to Why You Suck in Bed. This is when I start reaching for my phone to figure out what the hell was going on. Sex is just expected. Personally, no, if I go out with a guy no. and I don't fuck the guy, I fail somehow. I immediately, I'm trying to turn it off, but I go... <laughs> I didn't pick that clip to go at the beginning. I got all Trust hot me. and shaking, and this lady was like, uh, yeah, I can hear that. It just goes back to women not being open with sex. I couldn't stop laughing, and this lady in front of me was just pissed. I wanted to tell her to listen to the podcast to get pointers, and maybe she would be so dang cranky all the time. And maybe her and her husband could do more than just missionary once a month. You should have. <laughs> I hope I'm never old, bitter, cranky, and that's sexually frustrated. You guys are the best, Alicia. Oh, I love that email. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. And Sorry to be about with you, that. I can't tell people I even do this fucking podcast. Like, Ditto. I can only tell a select few because they would be like, that's disgusting. You're gross. You're talking about humping things. Oh my Ew. god. <laughs> Sex? Ew. I told one of my fraternity brothers and one of the younger guys and he was like, "Can you ask them about you know?" And I was like, "No, I don't know." <laughs> he was like, "I get he just got into a relationship with a chick." Mhm. And he wanted some pointers on eating the box. Mm. Oh, we kind of covered that a few episodes ago. Stop darting your tongue inside my pussy hole. Right. That's like right. key Don't number one. Don't dart your tongue in the point. pussy. Like, if you can just basically lick the clitoris. I think he wanted, I think he wanted like, techniques. Yeah, lick it. Like, I mean, that, was, that was like a don't do that. What mm. to do when lick you're down there. Lick it up and up and up. <laughs> 
<laughs> she, up. She's moving her and head up and pretend down. that yes. it's... You look like a horse eating a salt lick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to be rhythmic. Also, I think you mentioned you don't like this, but I like fingers. Oh, inside. I love fingers. Yeah. No, and then in, and then just when the girl's getting really hot and bothered, insert a finger. Yeah, you and have then to maybe two first, fingers. Yep. And then stick the fingers in. Yep. And do that come hither motion. Yes. And, mm. Yes. And... If you need to, pretend that, you know, like, the clitoris is essentially a little penis. So, like, what do you like to feel on your cock? That's what we like to feel on our clitoris. Like, a nice, rhythmic, Mm -hmm. licking, licking. But I would say you, like, start with licking and then suck it Mm -hmm. a little. A little bit. And then, I don't know, you have to vary it. Right. And every girl's different. But then finger. Yeah, I think you have to... You don't respond have to, to what the girl, licking. how the girl is reacting. Yeah, because you can tell. You can totally tell. And what, how did the gentleman do it? Ooh. Oh. I didn't he's, go he's, down on the first time. Of course he didn't. The first yeah. time. First time we banged. I said twice. We went twice. So mm. you went down on it after your splooge was all over the shit. No, we waited like twenty minutes. I had to get my reload. Yeah, but you splooged in there. Did you condom no, it. No, I condomed it. So when you licked it, did it taste like um, rubber? No. Really? Tastes fun. Serious. Yeah, mm. dead serious. Uh, okay, because Dude, I know I if I give a blowjob on a penis that had uh, contact with a condom, it tastes just like Although the rubber. lube on the inside is different yeah. than the lube on the outside. Ugh, that's so right? no, disgusting. Right? disgusting. I would have definitely not continued. It. <laughs> 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 Sorry, but... Yes, you would have. But this is the problem. Ma- maybe, if you say Why like that. can't we talk about this? Sex. What is the fucking problem? Fine, Johnny. You know what she said and it was fucking awesome. What? Right when we were about to start the second time, she goes, eat my pussy. And that was it. Good for her. That's mm. what I do. I do that all the time. I'm like, look, you better eat my pussy or I'm not fucking you again. Eat my pussy. Because like, I, I you need sure that. I went down on the Franken penis. Yeah. Just throwing it out there. Yeah, you need to fucking it's true. give back. It's true. It's true. No, I'm... I'm I, I massage I, that scar with my tongue. Selfish lover. That is totally <laughs> not true. <laughs> Listen, I let you get away with the Franken penis bullshit, but I'm not gonna let you get away with that crap. He's a selfish lover. <laughs> Franken. Get Phil Collins in here. Um. No. You know the. <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't like Phil? Do you know that I went to a Phil Collins concert when Stop I was right when I was young, like really young, and he fucking stormed off the stage and threw his mic on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Like he was a rock star. He's a rock star. He fucking stormed off. Studio. on your knees. What's the other guy's name? He's a selfish lover. What's the black guy's name? Fuck! Oh, I used to know this back in the 1980s. (laughs) (laughs) When she was 43. Shit! What's his name? I loved him. He had such rhythm. (laughs) <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> Thanks, Aretha. <laughs> Philip Bailey. Yes! Oh my god, I was gonna say Bailey. Fuck. Yes, that that video was kick ass. Jeff has a really <laughs> cute dimple and he smiles, which doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that just, Molly's just been noticed. like looking over at you in an admi- look. She's admiring. You. Look I'm, at her. I'm next. I think I think she might put her leg in your No, crotch Stacey's soon. next. <laughs> I, I, I always lose. <laughs> oh. Sorry. The born loser. I'm going always, fucking counterclockwise. I always say that Jeff is a very sexy man. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just... I love his laugh. Blushing. He is. Look at him. Molly, look at him. He's I'm looking. looking. Is he not? No. Yes. <laughs> you're both drunk stuff. No, you're uh, not. I had. We a, haven't had as much. To drink. I'm making a conscious effort yeah, not to drink as much really as last trying episode. Not to drink. I sound like a fucking Why, fool. Because you were slurring last time, you yep. two, <laughs> and because she went home and fucked you. I'm sorry. Well, you were, yeah, that was. A problem. You were blacking out. You don't even remember what you said. Bullshit. Not the last one. Two episodes ago, <laughs> I was not blacking out. Whatevs. Whatevs. Molly, you ever I just get a black man. It's on my bucket list. Okay. It's on my bucket. <laughs> a dwarf. Not on my bucket list. That's Callie. I don't know. I'm just running down the list. Remember Randolph? Of course. That's why I'm asking. I miss Randolph. If he was hot enough, I guess I would. Randolph was a hot man. (laughs) Also, I would have fucked Randolph. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know I have a crush on the guy on Game of Thrones. He's pretty hot. He is hot. I'd bang the shit out of him. I'd I'd bang his little legs off. (laughs) Honestly, (laughs) I'm more inclined to fuck a little person now that after Callie's 
raving about it. Yeah, she basically opened the door for everyone to open. She <laughs> did, and that's that's the beauty of this podcast. <laughs> he was saying you would have to be on top, right? I'm just trying to what think of the logistics. Would you get on top of that? I'd ride that shit. When you squish him, I do everything to him. He's a man. I'd, I'd ride his. He's not a child. Would you smush him? <laughs> no. Uh, he he actually is married to a typical sized woman. Most mm. uh, aren't. Isn't that like typical of? I don't know. I haven't. Researched I'm sure little he people. dumped a dwarf woman as soon as he got money. Ooh. No, he was with her before. He, no, he was with her before he became I famous. Be- I don't believe it. I know all about him. In fact, I bought the Rolling Stone with him on the cover <laughs> because <laughs> I love him so much. Yes, you got issues, girl. That, that <laughs> Stacy jills it to pictures of him. I love him, and he's the only reason I watch Game of Thrones. Because I can't understand the plot. <laughs> and everyone looks the same. And I can't, I cannot, I just don't know what's going on. I just know that the guys are all hot and they bang, they bang a lot. <laughs> In fur. <laughs> In pelt. <laughs> In pelt, yes. All right, so why don't we do um, some Stacy's shit? I want to bang you in pelt, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your Game of Thrones. Mm, Jeff's dimple. I Jeff. got two, baby. He's got two dimples. Mm, I can only see one side of his face. Perfect I can't lips. do the show looking the other way, baby. <laughs> I got too much equipment over here. <laughs> yeah. He's a magic man. I like it when you talk dirty mm. and nerdy. I talk with my equipment. <laughs> yeah. Mm, let me see your equipment. Ah. But it looks at my equipment when I'm working, baby. I do not sound oh, like that. Oh, God. Yeah. If anyone Ooh. was masturbating, they just went. Splooge, splooge, splooge. Spooge, spooge, spooge. Yes. All right. So, do you guys know what a lunar is? Fuck me in the ass. Lunar eclipse? <laughs> no, an L O O N E R. What's a lunar? Someone who's into midgets. A loony, like Canadian currency? A lunar? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Just guess, asshole. <laughs> I'll answer for him. Someone who fucks Swiss cheese. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Why not mozzarella? Good answer. All right. A lunar is someone who has a strange obsession with balloons. I was cool. What? Oh, man. How did we all miss that? So, <laughs> so basically, that there so is a guy that's going to be featured on the series Taboo. There's a... Yeah. Wait. And he's a lunar. And what he does is he tucks a balloon under his shirt and he sleeps with a chosen balloon each night. Mm. Hasn't that been on that show Sexy. before? They create a world of sleeping on clouds and I want to feel the love emanating from these beautiful, beautiful balloons, he says. <laughs> they have get-togethers and they blow up balloons and pop them and like jerk off. Mm-hmm. It feels so warm and your heart just reaches out to them. I feel like they are my children. They are part of who I am. Are they filled with oxygen or helium? They, they blow them up, like, themselves. Oh. So they're not, like, on the ceiling. There was one guy on... I think it was on that show that he liked, like, w- big ones that he didn't know when it was going to burst. <laughs> so he would, keep, he would keep blowing it up and blowing yeah. it up and blowing it up. And then it was like, when it bursted, he bursted at I the went, same time. At really? the Museum of Sex, I saw a porno that these people jerk off to and it was a girl laying with her legs spread and someone off camera blowing up a balloon between her legs and it like finally gets so huge it pops and I guess that's when you pop. And that's when they pop, yeah. That's weird. I'm going to the Museum of Sex I believe in two weeks. It's awesome. With Callie, yeah. Can I come? I got a Groupon. Yeah, you can come. Thanks. Believe it or not, a Groupon for the Museum of Sex. That's great. I yeah. didn't see that one. You get discounts there. Mm, I hope so. So basically, this guy's fetish was so intense that he moved from Vermont to New York so he could explore his balloon fantasies. Because there's a lot of people in right, New York that get together. Wow, you're all over see, this. I know about Is there a dearth of balloons in Vermont? I don't understand. No, that, but there's no people. Do you think that... that why do you need to do it with other people? What's that noise? Do you think that they... Inse- they <laughs> 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 I just came. 
Do you think he comes all over himself during the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Yes. <laughs> Only if the balloons <laughs> burst. Okay. So that is a lunar. For him, it's like NASCAR. He just like sits there waiting for one of the balloons to pop. I know. Like when the Snoopy balloon gets caught up in like one of the um, street lamps. Mm. I bet you. Oh love, yeah. He'd love to be pulling the the strings like on the street. <laughs> he should get that <laughs> job. He'd just be like one hand holding the balloon what and the other hand jerking boner. it. Yeah. Those poor children. And the kids would Stacey be Stacey just did the most amazing holding a balloon <laughs> and jerking it motion. I'm violently jerking. <laughs> playing an air guitar too. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you guys want to have more <laughs> sex dreams? No. Mm. Why? I'm satisfied with the amount that I have now. No, I do. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I haven't had like a, a bust a nut dream in a while. Okay. Researchers. And those are great. Are, are saying that sex dreams could be due to constricted breathing and stimulation as your junk is pressed against the bed sheets. So I got to sleep or on my balloon. stomach. So let's see. All right, people who slept face down on their stomach with their arms stretched above their head had more sex dreams, including affairs with celebrities and even a little bondage. Who can sleep like that? That's literally how I sleep. Wait, so you sleep face down on your stomach with your arms above your head. How do you breathe? I can do that. I can usually put my arms under my pillow. I can't sleep like that. Well, then that's why you're not having sex dreams. Damn it. It's always something. Researchers Whoa. aren't sure why that kinky link exists, but that's what you can do if you want to have more sex. Wow, dreams. this is really groundbreaking research. Groundbreaking. I'm glad people are doing this. <laughs> uh, right? It's really going to help yeah, everybody. Fuck AIDS and cancer. Let's do that. They could be researching women's health issues instead. Seriously. In your UTIs. Again, this is like a male fueled. Right. Research. They're like, oh, how can we have more fucking wet dreams? <laughs> <laughs> Let's research the key to that. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> then I get the bang Daisy Fuentes <laughs> in my face. <laughs> Daisy, what? Hi, 1991. <laughs> yeah, damn right. What the fuck? I used to fuck the couch to her on MTV <laughs> when she was a VJ. Uh, my friend was a production assistant on MTV, and Daisy was a VJ. So hot. And he became <laughs> friends with her, and she used to invite him over for brunch and made him, like, waffles and shit. Mm, brunch. And he was like, there's nothing sexier than watching Daisy make me waffles. I, I, <laughs> that does sound but pretty But that hot. was back in 97. Like, no, she was on that Dog Whisperer show or some shit. Like, I don't know. I had no still, idea. You were obsessed with her. She still looks dynamite. Really? Good to yeah. know. She's like a clothing line at Kohl's now. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about any of that. She was, uh, she was the best. Bomb. Bomb diggity, motherfucker. Hey, Fuentes, you listening? Call me up, son. She's like 75. No, she's... (laughs) She's a grandma. Yeah. No, she's not. Yeah. She She definitely has great pubes. More than taste. I bet you she shaves completely. It's a waxed job. Even her chest? (laughs) It's a fucking... (laughs) 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 That actually wasn't Uh, me for That was the girliest bird I've ever (laughs) heard. (laughs) All right. So listen to this. So sick. Blue, I thought you were going to say blue, blue, dick. dick hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about some stories about how not to masturbate, John. I'm going to blow into your dick hole. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, pasta. The man who inserted a tube in his you know where. A 40 year old oh. man inserted a 55 inch tube into his bladder for oh, masturbation. F- fucking. According to a recent Japanese case study. Oh my God. The tube remained in his urethra for two years. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Ew. Before it was surgically removed. Oh. This is more common than you may think. So uh, the chief I didn't think it was common to begin with. <laughs> urologic surgery at Duke University. I've seen a patient insert part of an aloe vera plant into his urethra. What? He claimed that it gave him a pleasurable, soothing, oh, soothing nice. feeling. Another man did the can same we, with a copper speaker can wire, we stop? Can we stop which ultimately now? became tangled in his bladder. Oh, my fucking God. That is difficult. <laughs> I don't, John is in I don't want to do this anymore. Physical pain. I want to do this anymore. <laughs> TP seems fine. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing it's because an average weekend for me. <laughs> He's a masochist, though. <laughs> he puts his guitar strings up there. What do you think I'd do with the broken one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, here's that, another one. That's horrible. The horrible. man who fractured his own penis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've all heard t- 
horror oh. stories about the reverse cowgirl gone yeah, terribly break, wrong. Breaking dicks, yes. But one man did it to himself. Oh, Christ. He held the root of his penis with the thumb and index finger of his left hand, then rotated his penis towards him with his <laughs> right hand, as always, according to a Nigerian case report. Nigerian. And what, dislocated it? He then heard a click sound. Followed by pain. He was lucky, though, and was capable of erection five days after surgery. Mm. What, to reattach it? What, he <laughs> fucking tear it off? What the fuck? Um, I mean, I just stuck my dick in, like, pasta and a fucking well, shop vac. And Christ. the last masturbation story is entitled The Man Who Died. <laughs> Oh, thanks. There are plenty of crazy sex practices, but few are as life-threatening as autoerotic asphyxiation, the act of restricting oxygen. Depriving the brain of oxygen is said to increase pleasure by creating a euphoric state. In reality, researchers have linked the fetish to an abusive past, guilt associated with masturbation, and general (laughs) risk-taking. Choke yourself. It is believed that kung fu actor David Carradine died during masturbation Indeed. after police found a rope around his neck and his oh. genitals. Oh. That's what they think. Let's have a moment of pee. moment of silence for David Carradine. Choke your chicken, not yourself. <laughs> <laughs> a public service announcement. By Bring back Hairy Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. So you said that one of your um, fraternity brothers wanted some information about oral sex on a check. I found an article to give him some basic guidelines. Number one, he needs to take his time. Because when it comes to cunnilingus, you should never be in a rush. Some guys rush it. Yeah. And it's fucked up. Because your, your clitoris basically feels like, I don't know, like it's like it's being chafed by a tongue. It's can, not fun. I can speak to that. Like... Because I think a lot, a lot of dudes, <laughs> you worry, you worry about going. I'm being very literal here. I'm sorry. And women get it, some women get self conscious too because they're like, "Oh my god, he's obviously in a rush. I better come." And then you can't come. And yeah. Like, oh my god, it's taking me so long. Oh my god. And or then you're like, you, you're like apologizing and right. You're <laughs> like, he must fucking hate this if he's going so fast. Yeah. But That's what I think. From, yeah. From the guy's point, you might be worried about going soft while you're doing that. So. And then you can't throw it in when the time comes. So then she, let, tell her to suck your cock. Yeah. Get some sick. Come on, everybody. Like, on. Jesus Christ. It's not that difficult. It ain't it's that not hot. brain surgery. Or get a handy. Don't treat her clitoris like a bullseye. No. Mm-hmm. Like Just as the body needs to be warmed down. up for sex, the clitoris needs to be warmed up before it's stimulated. So don't hit the area as soon as she drops Stop her hand. Stop punching it. Start teasing her. Think of the vulva mm. as a clock. With her clitoris being <laughs> noon, and make your way around the clock. Many women are sensitive between the areas of two and three o'clock, <laughs> so that's a good place to start. Two and three. <laughs> like if I'm looking at it, two or three. Or yes, from her. if you're looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Now are we talking like Eastern Standard Time? Yes, <laughs> of course. It's the only time. Re- that, um, that matters. Vary your techniques. So don't just be like, me, 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 tongue darting. Don't tongue dart. So change your lapping speed. Fucking speeds. change it up. You're lapping. And relax the tongue and stiffen the tongue. Relax the tongue and, st- you know what I mean? Right. Uh, that's <laughs> fucking gross. Ew. I never want to see that face again. Ew. Gro- that is why your face needs to be between the legs. You are not- never eating my pussy again. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Check that out. All right. Mm-hmm. Here are some clitoral stimulation positions that you should try. It's called the easy chair. Lie on your back. Keep your feet flat on the bed with your knees bent and position a pillow underneath your neck and head for support. Have the lady lay on top of you with her back touching your stomach. Move mm. her feet by her head and rest her head on your bent knees. John looks like his head's about to explode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to pick Here it up. So Here's confused. the diagram. That's hot. So she's basically... Why have I never done that The pillow are, is your knees and she's basically just oh. feeding you her pussy. Oh, that is can, awesome. Can you tweet that picture? <laughs> Here's the second position. The orgasmic earmuffs. <laughs> Both of you lay on your sides, facing opposite directions. 
See, I like this one because she's not sucking his cock. She's just like, yeah, whatever. Your, co- your cock's <laughs> in my face, so and I'm long. just going to like ignore it. I would get claustrophobic, though. <laughs> Eat my chocolate-soaked pussy. <laughs> so basically, it's like a side 69, but she's not sucking your penis. And whoa, here's the forward whoa, fold, which I is, think mm. this is like a yoga position That's where she's standing, she bends over, and you lick her vagina from behind. Yeah. Oh, mm. So oh. that's kind of like, that's risky because you yeah. might get some feces. No, around. that's right. good, but you might get on nose. all fours. Yeah, on all fours, I think would be easier. Like that it's is the same thing. Looks uncomfortable. I mean, She's grabbing her knee, her you have ankles. A, if you have a significant sized nose, it's going right in the butthole on that one. You'd get feces nose. <laughs> brown nose. <laughs> you, yeah, you'd be a brown noser. Right. <laughs> right? Right. Indeed. All right, I pulled up one other thing. Oh, you sound so miserable. I know. It was titled the the completely avoidable reason your relationship will fail. Mm, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a douche. Researchers from Kansas State University and Match dot com. No, I'm just oh. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they studied over 450 roommate pairs oh, and found no, that 450. This must be groundbreaking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you have absolute. Have you ever done research? Yes, I have a list. Of because I have a dissertation. <laughs> if you want to read it, it's right over there. I'm sure you do, doctor. <laughs> you have absolutely no understanding. <laughs> <laughs> who is that aimed at? Yeah, who was that? Uh, <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> How Maybe. does he do it? He doesn't even have his fingers on right. the keypad. <laughs> He's got his penis on the bed. Magic, magic man. Magic man. Right. Stroke it, baby. Magic man with the dimples. Oh, you have cute dimples, too. Mm. I love dimples. We were made sorry. for each other. <laughs> <laughs> we just rub our dimples. Mm-hmm. Like, we have that, um, like, call, we call talk. Me a, call me a Jew. Call me a Jew. Call You're me such a Jew. dirty Jew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, dirty? Be, yeah. Because I have to be Hitler. Oh, okay. Remember? <laughs> wow, you guys connect so well. He didn't even specify Not that it was really. supposed to be derogatory. I actually, no, I actually love Jews, so we have absolutely nothing in common. Because you like Hitler talking Because he likes to kill. Whoa, broken phone. Can we get back to the study? Like How can I too. avoid it? My relationship. Family. Researchers from Kansas State University studied 450 roommate pairs and found that those who had differing ideas of messiness were more likely to have conflict and feel unsatisfied in their relationship. In other words, your idea of clean might not be the same as your roommate, a.k.a. live-in lover's idea. That's actually so true. And the difference can lead to a lot of problems. And when I read this, I was like, yeah. That I've makes lived, so much fucking sense. Right? The men I've lived with, I'm like... You are disgusting. I'd see their mess, and I'd be like, can you clean this up? And then every fucking minute that went by that they didn't clean it was just, like, m- more time chipping away at my soul. And, yep. like, more of a reason that I would never fuck them again. Like, I'm like, that. this is driving me insane. Mm-hmm. You're disgusting. It's a turnoff. Exactly. Do you hear me? <laughs> clean your shit up. Dudes are disgusting. John? What do you want? Dudes are gross. The research sheds light on why people clash over housework. Every person has a threshold for cleaning, a point where the space is dirty enough for them to notice and they want to take action. For those who have a low threshold, which is me, even a small amount of disorder like dishes in the sink or a pair of socks on the floor is bothersome. Mm. So they want it fixed immediately. That's called anal retentive. That's me. You're anal retentive because I've seen... What you pack for lunch when you go to work? What, what I pack <laughs> no, I, I no, pack, no. What I you pack, pack for lunch? Pack it's like lunchables. he counts out a certain amount of crackers. That is fucking he, ridiculous. No, you I believe see it. his lunches. I believe it. It's not ridiculous. It's true, and you know it's true. Because I tried to pack your lunch one morning, and you had a fucking meltdown. <laughs> it's not enough crackers. It's because you didn't cut the crust it's an off. Odd number of crackers. You didn't cut the crust off my fucking peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Okay, five-year-old. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was interesting. So, I agree. I guess you have to be on the same page when it comes to being messy. Or just marry a slob. No, because I, I like, I'm really like, I like clean and neat, and I don't like clutter, and I don't like tchotchkes everywhere, and I can't be. With I someone. love that word. What the hell do you get against? I love what? that word. Tchotchkes. Tchotch- I oh, like tchotchkes. tchotchkes. I love that. What word. I thought you were against Scott Baio or something. <laughs> Joni loves tchotchkes. I love that word. <laughs> No, I hate it. I hate it when people are like, 
just putting shit everywhere and there's always like bullshit. I can't. Yeah, I that's, can't. That's my. That's that's me. <laughs> Ugh, I hate it. I don't see the point in buying shit just to like put it pla- like. And I, and I have a hang up when it comes to like gift giving. Like people will give me really thoughtful and wonderful gifts, but then I'll, I'll open the gift and be like, oh, this is so nice. And then I have an immediate anxiety. I'm like, where do I fucking put this? Yep. Like it makes me insane. Me I'm like, oh, and then you feel like guilty and it, it's like this whole emotional roller coaster oh, I go through. It's so dramatic. No, I'm just expressing <laughs> what goes on in my head. I'm sorry if I'm being honest, but I'm sure there are other people out there who feel the same way. I just don't like a lot of crap. I don't like crap around that's me. a clip right there <laughs> <laughs> he knows so do you let want, the man do his job do you want to do another one of your fucking things <laughs> 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 well when you put it that way let's just kill some fucking time go ahead why don't you do it all right i did some research and i was looking up some interesting names of porn movies you know, like Ass Avengers, like that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, Polka Hot Ass, like that. All right. <laughs> so this one's for you, Molly. Mm. Schindler's Fist. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I'm sure Jeff would like that. Ten Things I'd Lick About You. <laughs> That's just the German guy, right? Reading a book. That's so weird. And we all just have this negative or association all fucking to racist. it. <laughs> yeah. The irony. Or just unknowledgeable. I've turned the tables. <laughs> <We have. laughs> How about uh, oh, mind fuck. I've seen this movie, Sorest Rump. Oh my no, God. you know, let me tell you, Man on the Poon. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fucking awesome. But the rump, I always think of rump roast, and I think of red meat, and I think of like home cooked meal with mommy, and it turns me off when someone calls my ass a rump. A rump, a rump roast. How can you legitimately jerk it to a movie with a funny t- title? Like yeah. That? Do you think of the title or the minute no. the pussy, the shaved pussy woman comes out? It's like just oh, fast forward to the sex parts. Mm-hmm. How Stellar got her tube packed. <laughs> what? Her tube? Her, wait, what's the tube? <laughs> Are we referring to her vag? Yes, uh, apparently so. That's a I, tube? I, I, listen, um, I didn't write these titles, all right? Oh, thank I'm God. just fucking delivering information. Going for sloppy seconds. What's you know, that off? Gone, gone in 60 seconds. Gone in 60 seconds. Uh-huh. <laughs> Going for that's, sloppy that's seconds. That's a stretch. <laughs> yeah. No um, pun intended. A rear and pleasant danger. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. I like that. Black cock down. <laughs> Our poor servicemen. <laughs> Natural born jigglers. <laughs> Crocodile done me. Nice. Wet dreams may come. And come is spelled C U M, get it? <laughs> the Matrix. Yeah. And my favorite one, Face Jam. <laughs> <laughs> face Jam. That's cute. Oh, my God. Mazel. You did a good job. And uh, there were some ones that almost made the list. I'm impressed with you. You're really stepping up. Like Womb Raider? That's fucked up. (laughs) Like, to call it a womb, it's like implying pregnancy. Also implying that you fuck someone's uterus. Yeah. Which is most men think you do. Really? I think... I I go so deep. So Mm -hmm. deep. Put her butt to sleep. Woke her up about one. She didn't hesitate. Oh, right, what stop. are you talking about? I'm singing. Oh, I'm God. singing Ice Cube. Any Ice Cube hands out there? My vagina is, st- is going to be dry for months after this show. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Molly's like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> the Sahara Desert. I'm going to go home and rent I one want of those movies. I sand in my nether regions. So, that's, I guess, our show. <laughs> 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 like I'm pondering now whether I'm ever going to have a soulmate, whether I'm really settling, this was a whether my vagina's ever going to get wet ever, right, ever again. <laughs> again. This was a like, very depressing show. Yeah, it really was. No one knows how to eat pussy. No. <laughs> God damn it! I am kind of sad right now. Oh, hey, really hey. <laughs> thank you. Hold on. How did I do? I already said you did fine. All right. Fine. I'll take fine. fine. I'll take fine. Like I'll Marco's fine. penis was nice. nice. I'll take fine. <laughs> I'll take it. I didn't like do any damage or fuck anything up. No, so I'll my take clit it. is still there. So you <laughs> did an okay job. <laughs> I didn't like bite the wrong thing off. Or L- you get a you golf deserve clap. A, a round of applause, listeners. You need to send us some emails. Like, please. I, I'm starting to wonder if anyone listens to the show. We're going off the air. Goodbye. And if you don't listen, we'll just go off the air. Yeah. But yeah, for we're wasting here. our time. <laughs> <laughs> Sons we're, of bitches. We're here to help you guys. We're not here to like. Just we could be getting Indian pussy right now. And yeah. I'm here. We yeah. know our shit. 
Ooh. So just we can ask help us you. Stuff. We can help you with any relationship or sex questions. You don't have to use your real name. Just email me, Stacy at Riotcast dot com or TP at Riotcast dot com. I have all my fraternity brothers just write. And the know. other two will have to get their emails set up soon. Ridiculous. Tweet me. But yeah, and you can tweet us. I am Hot Doc Stacy, and but I only answer if you're a chick. Remember. Uh, and we have Molly W Y S I B, and we have <laughs> throbbing arm is throbbing arm John, and then we have um, token penis. Yeah, T O K E N. And we can also respond um, on Facebook, mm-hmm. so you can find me at Stacy Regan. Um, what's your Facebook name? The yeah, tortured, it's tortured one. penis. Tortured penis. Because I'm no longer token. So you're on Facebook as Tortured Penis? Yeah. We have a, um, yeah. why you suck in bed Facebook page yeah, as well. they know where the fuck we are. Can you fucking write us emails or I swear to God, I'm going to get the angry bird in here and she's going to fucking rant and rave about anal sex and gay men and how we can't afford her leather coats and stop touching the jacket. And just more yell at me for everything the two of you can afford. And Callie's going to come in here and they're going to fight and it's not going to be fun. It's going to be fucking boring and ugly. Mm-hmm. So boring and ugly, like John's penis. Whoa! Whoa! That fell apart. <laughs> Not nice. Love is in the air. All right. I'm so the... have a good week, guys, and send us some emails with some sex questions. Hey, ladies, tweet me. I need to get laid now. No one likes me. Aww. See ya.